I think they could see us there. Have a seat. Oh, it says, okay. Okay. I hope everybody could see us. Hello, my name is Alma. And my name is Samiri. Samiri is four years old. She's a NICU graduate. Um, and, and I think I have to put something in here. Was to record it now. Um, give me one second. Okay. I so, so Mary spent 90 days in the NICU. Mm -hmm. Um, she was a preemie, she was 27 weeks old mm -hmm. when she was born, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're just gonna agree with me, yes, he was. <laughs> and they say hi, Samiri. Hi. Um, but how can they see us? Though? Because we're live. You should put it over. I am currently working with FSN's, um Family Support Network. Yeah. I'm not touching the phone, please. Yes, yeah. Um, you're getting me crazy, ma'am. <clears throat> Where does it? And um, I'm working with them as a translator. And I'm um, working with them in, in the NICU as a part-time. Yeah. Yay. Yay, because my mom is the best mom ever. Oh, well, thank you. That's really nice of you. You're welcome. So today, we're going to read My Poppy Has a Motorcycle. This is a Mary's favorite book because her dad has a motorcycle, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she likes motorcycles. <laughs> And I think we're gonna get ready to get started, okay? Yes, ma'am! Can you stay quiet? Let's roll it in. Let's roll it in what? Roll it in. Okay, we're rolling in. My Papi Has a Motorcycle by Isabel Quintero. Oops, sorry. I think we're gonna have to squid a little bit. You can't Be read patient. like that. I can. My puppy has a motorcycle. From him, I have learned words like carburetor and cariño, drill and dedication. When I hear his gray truck pull into, the into our driveway, I run outside with both of our helmets. Tom Tom. My puppy, the carpenter, the carpenter, is covered in sawdust and smells like a hard day at work. His hands are rough from building homes every day, his job, since he first arrived in this country. But even though he comes home tired, he always has time for me. He always has time for me. Did, did you see it? <laughs> yes. When our city is winding down, he takes me for a ride. Today, he's going to show me the new houses he's working on. Pappy is careful with my ponytail as he pulls my helmet tight. When he lifts me in onto the smooth black seat, his hands don't feel rough. They don't feel tired. They feel like all the love he has trouble saying. Lista, see. Sí. Lista. A little bit closer. Poppy reverts, revs the engine, the engine, and the smell of gasoline hits me as he squeaks the accelerator. Con cuidado, be careful. <gasps> There's a the motor rumbles and growls. Sit down. Vroom. Agarrate. Hold on, and then we take off. Run, 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 run. Yep, they take off. <laughs> the shiny blue metal of the motorcycle glows in the sun. The sun, the sun, the bright orange sun is on its way down. 
turning our sky blue and purple and gold. We become a spectacular celestial thing soaring on a self, on asphalt. A comet, the sawdust <gasps> falling from Poppy's hair, and clothes become a tail following us. There is Mama Shara. Yes. Sit down, please. Mama Shara is my favorite. Papi zigzags through the streets. We pass Abuelita's church and Tortilleria La Estrella and stop for stray cats crossing in front of us. Mommy thinks there's too many of them, but I think there's just enough. Everybody's getting in that cold. Yeah. And I'm even more Sierra. Okay, you need to stop or you're going to have to step out, okay? We pass Joyce Market where, mommy's, where, where mommy buys my gummy bears. Mr. Garcia, our librarian, is walking out the door and nods at us. We nod back. This is how we always greet each other. Oh yeah, Mom Sarah. I just said, oh yeah, Mom Sarah. Okay. But you need to calm down, okay? We roar past murals that tell our history of citrus groves and immigrants who worked them, uh, and of the of the famous road race that l took place on Grand Boulevard a hundred years ago. Now, I know that we are stopping at Don Rudy's Raspados. Daisy! But as we near the shop, we see that it's empty and out of business. I can tell Papi is disappointed. I imagine the smell of sweet Syrups Don Rudy's used to flavor our shaved ice cream. Our, our shaved ice, I'm sorry. I won't be the only one who misses him. Excuse me. Mm. Can I show them? Mm. Yum. Mm. Yeah. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Ding, ding, ding. As we ride on, I feel and hear everyone and everything we pass by. Each sound landing in my ears rebu rebuilds whole, um, whole neighborhoods inside. I hope Kendi comes. No matter how far I go from this place or how much it changes, this city will always be with me. Ha 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 ha. The kid's playing. We cruise by Abuelito and Abuelita's old yellow house, the one with the lemon tree that grew from the seeds of the lemons Abuelito used to pick not far from here. Mommy says we're going to visit them tomorrow to cut nopales from their garden and eat Herbie albondigas in Abuelita's kitchen, where the food always tastes better. We turn the corner and then, Mija, adios mi reina, adios. Mommy. Please don't touch it, okay? Please don't touch it. You're gonna have to step out if you don't stop. Everybody could hear you. The dogs behind the fences go wild. Woof, 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 whoa, whoa. Frankie the Lopez's Labradoodle escapes from her yard and runs after us. Mercedes Lopez, the fastest runner in our class, races after her. They're right behind us. Then, just as fast as the dogs barking, and Mercedes and Frankie become a soft hush in the distance. Mommy, who is that on the bottom? I'm reading the book. We're almost done with the book. We ride towards the new homes, replacing the last of the citrus groves. The painters, drywallers, 
and floor layers all greet us, but we can barely hear their, their words amid the sounds of hammers and air compressors. Trabajando duro, muchachos? A little bit, not too much. Even in all the noise that um, in all that noise, my puppy's voice touches everything. Around the circle, this is my favorite part. On the ground on Grand Boulevard, we learn into the curb of the street. I make believe that we're in one of the races that took place here so long ago. It's our last lap and we have to win. The crowd cheers us on. I feel Papi smile as I squeeze my arms tighter around him. Vamos Papi, faster, faster. We fly around the circle. There's the school where we practice soccer. There's the post office where Mr. Charlie takes our letters. And La Panaderia, where Papi buys conchas on Sunday mornings. Go, Daisy! Broom! Here it is, all over beautiful city. My eyes try to catch everything, but the colors of houses blend into one another. Red, blue, green, orange, pink. Oh, my favorite color. Yep, they're going super fast. I hope the cops catch them. What? We ride, ride, ride <laughs> until the blue glow from the motorcycle begins to dim. And our comet tail has been left behind on the streets. We've traveled, we've head home, and slowly the engine echoes us back onto our street and then our driveway, our finish line. Mommy and little brother hear the motorcycle and run out to greet us. Mommy waves us in, just like a referee. Bobby and I can stop laughing. We had a good ride. Screech! The tires stop. <laughs> Through our laughter, I hear a familiar sound. Honk, honk, raspados. I, oops, I didn't show it, see? I keep on forgetting. You just showed it. Yeah, I just did. I think about my city and all the changes that it's been through and all the changes that will come. Chicle y fresa, por favor. Scuff, scuff. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> But I know that here in our little house, there are things that will always be the same. Mañana, we fly again. Mom, I was about to fall off. And that's the end. Mom, I was about to fall asleep on you. I hope you guys enjoyed our little story. And, and thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you. I can read you a book now. Yep. Mm. I can read you a book. <laughs> you can read you any book. Bye. I want to read you a book.